Hey guys, what's happening? So, uh, just got this for Christmas, and I actually was looking at one of these for a while on Amazon. And uh, take a look. Yeah, it's actually uh, I wanted to get a, a, like a larger size like a uh, dial indicator and this uh, magnetic control base arm. So let me show you that real fast. So I already actually have a smaller one, a smaller dial indicator. But I actually saw this online, and so if you're online, you're looking for a dial indicator, this might have come up on Amazon. It's the uh, digital dial indicator, and I kind of like the old analog style indicators, uh, but because I actually started uh, this whole machining, you know, machining uh, learning thing here with uh, 3d printing I uh, I kind of I learned in metric but all the YouTube videos the machinist guys I watch on YouTube all talk in inches they're talking a thousand some dowels and so I don't really know what that means you know I mean I, can't, I mean I know what it means but I don't really know like I can't uh, gauge like I understand like 0.2 millimeter I understand millimeter because I'm dealing 3d printing but when they say like half a thou or whatever like I don't I don't I, I can't get a reference of a, of a size so that's why I kind of wanted to see, like, you know, look at it in metric, and then I could switch over to inch, and I could see, okay, well, that's what it, that's what a half a thou is. So this might seem backward to most people, but since I learned in metric, you know, I'm thinking of metric. But when I watch videos online, it's all in inches. So that's why I wanted it was something I could actually do dual inch and uh, American. But yeah, the whole thing was like 54 bucks. So it wasn't a pretty good deal. So it just goes like that. I mean, basic thing but this thing's pretty cool I guess I just want to show you this I mean look it's pretty basic zero you know zero so you no longer have to twist a dial you know go here that's inches right there so I'm actually getting a full-size CNC machine and I need something to be able to actually gauge the table the accuracy of the table and uh, let me show my other one real fast All right, so here's the other one I currently have uh, this is actually a metric one you can tell by the yellow dial I did a review about this one um, but this is actually what I used to dial in my little 3018 CNC bed to shim it to make sure it was correct even. But since I'm going to be getting like a larger CNC machine, um, I wanted to uh, get something a little bit more uh, larger, like heavier mag magnets, you know. So hopefully you can see it turn in your view. So like I, what I was saying is I can actually see something in metric, right? And they go, oh, okay, well, it's 0.2 millimeter, right? That's the difference, right? Then I can switch it to inch and go, okay, well, it's a thou, right? So, I mean, nothing special about it, you know, just a dial indicator. But, so you saw this on Amazon, and you saw this package deal. This is what it looks like. So it's all steel base. I don't know. Um, oh, aluminum base here. Pretty heavy magnet. Um, I don't have a piece of steel to grab onto it. That's okay. great. So that's it for this video. I mean, it's not really a review. I mean, what what is a review? <laughs> you know, I guess I just wanted to unbox it and kind of give you my uh, opinion how it feels and what it looks like. It doesn't feel cheap. Like the stand feels actually very well made. Um, like it doesn't feel cheap at all. So, but I don't know. I don't have a reference, so I don't have a, like a Mitotoyo to as a reference. But just just the way it looks and feels feels pretty good. So, all right. So you'll be seeing this being uh, used when I calibrate this. CNC machine in future videos. So now I have two. I have a small one and a big one. All right, let me show you what I'm what I'm doing here. Right, so this thing's getting bigger. Um, like I said, I'm not a machinist. I'm, I'm an IT guy. So got feeler gauges, some calipers. I have large calipers. Um, some like really cheap stuff in here, like some uh, Harbor Freight stuff. This was my first dial indicator. It was like a flex one. It had sort of like a vice grip on it, but it was it was pretty worthless. So this is probably the best one I have yet so far. Um, I have some like old micrometers or cheap micrometers. But like I said, I don't really do a lot of precision stuff. So I'm trying to get into it, but let me put this away and I'll... Yeah, I, mean, I only got into CNC a couple of years ago, so... Um, and actually I don't even have, I mean, I'm just playing on a 3018. So I designed these little trays, uh, Infusion 360, 3D printed them. I have my collets, you know, some bits here. I'm getting there, but uh, all right, guys, cool.